Okay, what I'm going to try to cover in 10 minutes is how to create a walk cycle using some excellent resources left behind in the late 1800s by a guy named Edward Moybridge. And so uh, what I've got here is a flash file that's uh, set up using some of his photographs which are in the public domain now. And if I just scroll my little mouse here, you'll see I've got some layers set up and some templates set up. So the templates are right here on a locked layer. And you have access to this if you want this uh, if you want this flash file. This was made in MX 2004. Um, you'll be able to get it right here on my website, 3dcognition.com. If you just click on Tutorials and then go to Flash Tutorials, you'll see one called How to Create a Walk Cycle, and that's this one right here. Let me just pull that up a little bit so you can see it. Um, in the template, you just right-click over here and save as, and you can have access to that. So, um, here's how it works. Uh, what I've done is I created a block. Let me go back to scene one so you can see how this was built. Uh, I actually used a technique called movie within a movie. Let me allude to that because I've, I've made another tutorial about that. That is right here on my Flash Tutorials. Flash movie within a movie technique. I use a little clock within a clock or a clock within a symbol to show how you could make something move and still be able to animate its position. You'll have to look at that. It's about a six or seven minute tutorial to really understand this process. But this is really quite simple. Um, what I did here was starting from scratch in Flash, I created a little box. I uh, double clicked it, I turned it into a symbol, then I double clicked and got into that symbol and when I did that, let me just double click it again so I can get into it again, I created more layers and you can see those layers here and I created uh, you know a layer for templates and I brought in all my templates that, uh, of more bridges prints and I created some alignment layer here to uh, so I could line up the position of this guy um, and I started um, with this green leg layer and started uh, what I call it the green leg layer. Let's go to frame four so you can see that. I slightly painted in Photoshop with the color tool, just painted uh, the right leg and the right arm green because in some of these frames it's hard to tell which leg is which. It can get a little confusing at any rate, so I just wanted to make it easier and uh, then I went in and started with the leg, the green leg, and we'll just we'll just do another one of these. I made a bunch of blank keyframes. This is all set up the way it would be for you if you want to use the template. Just click on the frame and I'm going to get nice and close here and uh, we'll make another green leg and I'll just show you the process I'm using for that. So I'll use my pin tool. I'll start at the bottom of the toe, come up, get the bridge of the foot there, or the top of the foot, um, bottom of the knee, crown of the knee, come back. I want to put a little muscle in here so I'm going to press, drag, release. I'm not doing too many curves though because it can be a little confusing for people to follow. So you can add those later. Click. I'm going to go as high as, on the leg as I can. Come back and press, drag, release for that back side muscle there and come down to where the knee, on the back side of the knee, get the calf muscle now come down and get the ankle, get the ball of the heel probably in two clicks and get the ball of the foot and then come back and try to carefully close you should see a little circle on your pen tool as a little glyph to show you did it right. If it doesn't close you may have to, uh, well, I'll use my paint bucket and it fills and you can see I've got my gaps here set to close large gaps just so that I don't have to go in here and tweak this while I'm trying to do a demo. Um, of course you can always close those after the fact. Let's do one next step here. What would you do next? See this line? I like this. I want a border around my uh, character's uh, shapes but what I'm going to do is click this top one which would separate it from the rest of the body and just delete it. And then I'll just double click this and I'm going to do a modify convert to symbol and I'll call this, we're on frame 4, I'll call this uh, blue leg 4 
okay, for frame four. And it's a movie clip I'm making. So I've got four movie clips now, and you can see you're getting a sense now already of the of the movement, the animation of that. When I'm done with this, I'm going to go to this templates layer and get rid of all these templates. I'm going to get rid of this alignment stuff, and I'm going to be left with an animation. Now, yes, you could do all kinds of stuff besides what I'm doing here. You could add little strokes to depict muscles. You could add gradients. You could uh, put clothing on this guy. But the bottom line is you have something to work with with the reference, with the photo reference. And uh, with these blocks, you've got something you can draw on. And you can, of course, you can go in and use your pin adjustment tools and add vertices, take vertices away, turn them into B splines or whatever you need to. So why is the green leg up here? Well, normally, if I zoom back out a little bit, you see this. Normally what's going to happen is this outside arm is the closest thing to us. So I put green arm on the top layer. And then green leg is the next closest thing, then the body, then the head, then white arm and white leg. So isn't it true that when this leg moves forward in a later frame, it's going to be in front of the white leg? So just getting these things in a rational order so that uh, it's all set up for you to work and you don't have to think about too much of it. The other thing you can do with this template is just draw freehand and just have fun with it. You don't even really need to make blocks, but uh, it helps. Keeping things in blocks separates them out so that they don't eat into each other like flash shapes are prone to doing. But uh, just use it as a template because animations more than just trying to make things realistic, it's to make things interesting. However, I tend to believe that if you can understand how it works in real life, then you have a better chance of making something, of building upon that in an interesting way. The other thing about these templates is I've got them labeled. One is, this first frame is called push off. So the push off, then you plant the forward foot, so you push off with the rear foot, plant the forward foot, cross over, I've got two crossovers. That's just how his photos worked, and I think it's, it seems to make pretty good sense. And then the drive of the forward leg coming forward, and then I've got the push off of the rear foot again. So the whole cycle repeats itself. So those are all numbered, as you can see here. All those frames are numbered. And then you've got uh, at the top the height of the character. You're going to notice he bobs up and down. So uh, medium height, low high one and high two on the crossover is the highest point in his uh, torso. So high one, high two, you can see he's almost touching that little yellow bar I put in there for alignment. Then down to medium as he drops down and drives forward again. And then as he's about to plant, when he plants, that's the lowest point. So you can see him bob up and down. Let's just play this for a minute. If I go to control test movie, can't you see how um, as he plants, he drops down, and as he uh, crosses over, he gets as high as he can. So there's actually a waveform of his motion. And without that waveform, the human uh, walk doesn't look natural. And it's going to be similar with animals, but, of course, usually with four legs. So that's it. You can find it right... Let me see if i got a good place to show you this. Um, right here, www.3dcognition.com under Tutorials, and go down to Flash Tutorials, and all the way down to, actually, <laughs> I didn't actually upload that yet, but here's what it's going to look like. How to create a walk cycle, and get the template here.